Copyright disclaimer. Copyright disclaimer. Okay, you guys. I'm just going down memory lane of a um, majority of some of the good times and the good memories that Shell and I've had together. And I didn't want to play the video, but it's going to be a, 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 um, that incident when we haven't seen her for about a week, two weeks and a half or something like that. She came up with all those bruises on her. So, guys, if you guys do not want to see that image, I encourage you guys to fast forward it. But I'm going to do a countdown. So, five, four, three, two, one. So, you guys. How did we go from this to the picture I just show you guys? She seemed so happy. She always been a, pr a pretty girl, a pretty young lady. So, y'all know she got to go to court tomorrow to do her big one, big one. So, what are some of the outcomes that you guys think? Put in the comments. What you guys think is, is she going to get probation? Because all the charges that she got charged with her and um the young man, the other mama, the real mama. Um, so. Do you guys think she'll get probation? Or, um, are you going to do, like, a little bit of jail time again? Because, you know, she do have a private lawyer. And, um, Danny does has a, uh, public defender. And so, you guys, they want to make it seem like they broke up. My guess was to do all that for the courts, to make it look good for the courts. It was not for us. Because, like I told you guys in the last video that I made, that if you're going through a, a deep situation, even with your partner or whatever... And so they're in a, in a lesbian relationship. So, it's going to be like a domestic partnership with Danny, Shell, and Op. So, they're going to maybe treat it like that. So, again, if they're in a domestic partnership, they aren't supposed to be around each other. Even though, even though it's not court ordered. But that's what the lawyers are suggesting that they do not be around each other because of this case. So that's why I'm thinking that Danny, well, you know, Queen Aunt wrote all that shit. Danny didn't write that shit because we look at some of her old posts on her videos, a lot of her videos that she got on her IG. She really didn't say nothing. She don't type shit. She posts a lot of pictures. So about her, let me show you what I'm talking about. Danny posting all this shit talking about, bro. I'm sick of motherfuckers so making me look like I'm a bad guy all the time. A motherfucker finna make me tell the real. Big head, the who? A motherfucker finna make you tell the real? It is or it ain't, boo boo. You gonna say this shit or you not? Ain't no ifs, ands, but a coulda, shoulda, woulda. A cuha, a shuha, a wha, a hoo hoo. No. Danny didn't write this shit. Like I said, if you go to her IG, she ain't got no lot of talking and shit on her stuff. I mean, all she do is talk, talk, talk. She don't really type. So we know that, um, cause I do have access to her IG. So. It's close to, um, court. She wrote this, like, a, I guess, um, maybe, what, the other day or two? Yeah. So, all of a sudden, she wants to start typing. A brrr, she's a keyboard gangster and shit. She getting down dirty with the motherfucking keyboards. Click, 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 clicking. Yeah. So, Danny didn't write this shit. I wrote this shit. Moving on. And so, then she gonna put like this. Oh, bro. Y'all talking about somebody wanna be like somebody, um... Talking about Shell. So, um, um, so I said, I'm gonna put her on her. She told my business and talked shit about my, um, about it's my turn, for real. Fuck, um, fuck out of here. And so, she gonna go on to her private, this is her regular thing, but, um, when I try to screenshot it, I got it from my essay page, but I do got her, allegedly her second 
page or a private page. And who do private pages? Queen up. Uh, Danny don't do no private pages. Danny ain't all, in, into all that shit. And of course, they be listening to our shit. We tag them. Of course, they gonna. They ain't got nothing else to do. So of course they listen to what we have to say. Sometimes it can be very intuitive for them to listen to it. Um, for me, I talk my shit. And also, I try to give them advice as well. They can take it or not. But this just goes to show that. Queen Op and Danny do listen to what we have to say as commentary content creators. Then she want to say that she got receipts. Danny girl, Danny girl, Danny girl, Danny, Danny, listen, Danny, listen, baby. Y'all finna go to court tomorrow, tomorrow. You going to court tomorrow, tomorrow. So, baby, we don't know. If y'all gonna go straight to jail, or y'all had to do community service, go into a rehabilitation center, we don't know none of that. We don't know if y'all gonna go either slap on the wrist, do probation, and, and come out and live another day. So, if you have any fucking receipts to post, bitch, you might want to post it now because you don't know the face of what you're gonna, you don't know the face of your outcome for tomorrow. So, if there's any receipts that you need to post, baby girl, baby girl, you need to post them right motherfucking now because you don't know if you're gonna be, you don't know if you're gonna say clink, clink. Lock the fuck up. Get your ass on. We don't know none of that. So, if you were going to post some receipts, girl, you would have posted because you already be talking slick shit on the cool, you know, throwing that subs and shit like that. So, what receipts that you got? Proof that she told you to do it? What what kind? Because she, she lived her life on social media. So, it ain't too much that we don't know about Queen Up. The ones that been there from the beginning because I had not been there from the beginning like that. So, you know, um, I'm learning as I go about this girl. I mean, it's not like I really want to, want to know her like that. Because, you know, mm -mm, I can't be entwined with a bitch like this. She'll make my reputation look bad. Yeah. And then she want to say that she wished that we stopped, that we stopped saying that they are together. Like, what the fuck? Y'all are together, girl. Y'all have not broken up. The same, okay, this was like I said, I got this, what, yesterday or whatever. And so within the same few hours of her posting this, Queen Op is um on her phone recording her over there. So all this is just a big ass ploy to say that we're not together. We Let's seem like we broken up. Y'all break up like almost every other day and mad at each other for whatever. You mad at her for something, she mad at you for something. Y'all stay mad at each other. So, it really don't give a fuck if y'all do break up. Y'all have to live that relationship, not me. We're on the outside looking in because y'all post shit on the internet. And Queen Op is something like a, a you know, a D, C and a half. Mine is celebrity. And y'all look at baby Summer. Oh, she is so cute with them big old cheeks and that head full of hair. Oh my goodness, baby Summer is so cute. Look at Danny's baby. Akuna Matata. Yes, baby Lala. So, it's not me posting um, her child. Um, Juju Mom. Juju Mom had came and picked up the baby. When Danny's supposed to left or whatever, you know, because um, Queen Op can't live without um, Danny around to watch her child. Cause, you know, Queen Op is the babysitter and Danny is the mama. So, Danny had to go get her hair cut. She needed a babysitter. Queen, I was not available to babysit. So, Juju, Mama had to come and pick up the baby. And I think the baby stayed with her for maybe like two days, I believe. I'm not sure. So, Juju, Mama posted the baby. So, um, Queen, I was going to charge people $5. $5 foot long. She was going to do a $5 meet and greet with, um, with baby son. So, when she found out that um, Mama Juju had posted the baby already, her gig was up. Clock that tick, bitch. She done clocked your shit. See, people is not like this dummy, dizzy-ass girl. She wanted to charge people $5 to see um, Baby Summer. Well, Lil Danny. That's her name. Her name is Lil Danny. That's Lil Danny, baby. That's Danny. That's Lil Danny. So, she wanted to charge people $5 to see Lil Danny. And so, 
um, people that know Juju, um, you know, profile and stuff like that, they went over there and seen the baby. He, his mama was posting the baby all, all up and everything like that. And so, people want to say this is Dookie Young's baby, not Juju. Even though that, um, Pop looked just like her, of course, Pop and, um, Summer going to look alike because that's Queen's aunt's baby. Queen Op is the mama. Of course, Juju, I mean, um, Pop and Summer are going to look alike. They're brother and sisters. They have the same mama and possibly the same daddy. But everybody want to say that this is Dookie Honest Baby and it's not Juju on the beat. Well, Juju. Not Juju on the beat, but Juju. Yeah. So, what y'all think about Baby Summer, y'all? Ain't she a little baby doll? Little, let's, little Danny. So, I'm going to give you guys this little short video. So, tune in, tune in. Stay tuned. So that's her wiping out the, the cloth diapers in, in, in the sink. That's um I'm wash, washing off cloth diapers in the sink because she done spent all the money on the lawyer. So she ain't got a dollar and seventy five or a dollar and fifty to wash the clothes. And I think it's like fifty cent to a dollar to dry the clothes. So yeah, she washing the clothes in the goddamn sink because the bitch ain't got a dollar seventy five to go wash the clothes in the goddamn wash and dryer. Lazy ass bitch. Just pathetic and sad. And there goes the baby. So this is what she was saying that um hold off on sending the five dollars um for summer live, y'all. Cause she said she don't feel like adding everybody. You know how she was adding people when they um to, to um request her to um. Add y'all to her um her private um Instagram, so she was trying to do the same thing. <laughs> so that's why she said hold off on the five dollars because she didn't feel like adding nobody. No, she felt like adding y'all because she felt like accepting that money. She had to rewind, yeah, pump the replay. She had to pump the replay because Juju Mama already showed Baby Summer. Yeah, and then I think the next clip we're going to show is she going to pretend like... Oh, I'll wait till that clip come. Hold on. Hold on. Right here. She going to pretend like... um, <laughs> Y'all, this be so dumb. She going to pretend like um, Danny just walked in the goddamn highs. Like, girl, how she just walked in the high when this bitch got on um, no shoes, no socks? And her pants is hanging all the way down to the middle of her ass. And why is y'all house so damn dirty? What the fuck do y'all do? Because, um, you know, baby Danny is still a baby. So I know she still sleep a lot or whatever. But she ain't too much of a handful. But, you know, Danny do hold her a lot. So she probably be crying every time she put her down. Because, you know, Queen, I don't want to bother with the babysitting job. So, you know... That's what it was. She don't want to be bothered with the babysitting job. So, when she sleep, y'all can't clean that house. I mean, it's not like it's like a lot of junk right there, but it's when you taking pictures and shit, and I can't stand bitches that be wanting everything out of fat cat. That shit's not cute. That shit is not sexy. It's like you got a big dick in between your legs. Or you a, a transformer. That was given transformer. I can't stand females that want to have clothes like that and whatever they got a fat cat. That's because you got a fat cat on me, your pussy good. Check it. Check it. Just because your your cat baby be fat don't mean that your pussy is hitting for all that. Probably hit for a buck twenty five. And I ain't talking about a hundred, I'm talking about a dollar and twenty five cent. So same outfit around a different time. Danny wanna go get her hair cut. And so that's why Queen Op said she can't go live, because Danny want to go get her haircut, and she and um, Queen Op can't watch, she can't babysit, and that's how um, Juju came to get, come get the baby because Danny want to go get a haircut for court because Queen Op gonna do her wigs and a whole bunch of a whole bunch of nothing. So if they broke up, but they're still entwined together.
So they got broken up. That was a ploy to make a shit look good. But you can't say y'all broken up if y'all gonna still queen up gonna clock it too and show you there at the house. So how y'all broken up if? Because if you go to hers, it's the same time date, same like but between different hours. Danny posted her shit earlier today. I posted her shit later on that night. So she was gone to the script club probably the previous day, but she's back now. So ain't no broken up over here. They they just trying to get a ooh and a ah because they know court's coming up. And people are always gonna tune in. So these hoes ain't broken up. And we really don't give a fuck. That's what you eat don't make me shit. Yeah, my hair cut. Yeah, my hair cut. Y'all can pause that with why did it go at your old because I used to do all that. We know. We know. That is nasty. That's just a nasty ass little bitch. She just just do stuff just for shock value. If you wanna smell like funk, funk master flex, then that's you. Smell like funk master flex, girl. Don't nobody care about your stinking ass, but Danny and the niggas that fuck you. Uh, again, so gotta go down memory lane again. This is Shell and Up in New York Times Square when she got on um, micro. It's called Micro Space or something like that. Micro, Micro, Marco, Marco Polo. Yeah, Marco Polo. And they gave her a billboard. This was like um just a few months before. Then they brought her handicapped ass on into the picture and, and fucked up. Well, you can't say fucked up everything because um, sh- um, I think I forgot how they got kicked off of this this little app, but they got kicked off. But look, they happened. Happened. You and me must never part. Mm-hmm. We sisters for life. We clocked in. And that's some of the um, that's one of her, her uh, pictures that she showed. You know, very pretty. Pretty outfit. Mm-hmm. Very pretty. But I know she hate the shit now. See, when you want to be an influencer, you have to do um certain shit to keep your name in the limelight. You can be cosmetic or whatever, problematic and shit like that. But still, the consumers and the, and the people that own that app, they have to be intrigued too. They were so intrigued with Op, they gave her a fucking a, a spread in Times Square. She was plastered in Times Square where they have fucking celebrities. And Queen, I do not have a blue... Uh, does this bitch have a blue check mark? I don't know. This Do she even... I don't think this girl have a blue check mark. People don't see her as a celebrity like that, but some people do. But who's... She's influencing some dummies, a bunch of dummies. So, they admired her how much numbers that she bring in to their app that they gave this girl a fucking billboard in New York City. They flew her ass out, her and her best friend. They flew her out. And where is that now? Like, again, I told you guys in my last video, this girl was making probably like thirty-five, forty, dollars maybe $50,000 a month off of that app. And for her to still be living the way that she lived, it got me thinking what are you doing with your money we knew she was a crackhead or she was a uh, um a a a, a powder puff girl she sick out her own mouth she had a, addiction so we knew that she did whatever she did so maybe she's still you know losing all this shit and you know being stressful you can relapse so I'm thinking that maybe she realized, but it's not as heavy as it was when she first started. 
Because I don't know if I got that picture of her looking like, girl, she was looking really thin now. She was looking a little thin. Please say the baby. And y'all, that goes um, baby Soma. This over her at Juju Mama House or Juju House with him and the baby. Mm-hmm. And there go Pop right there. And so I'm going to do like Pop. Like I said, they brothers and sisters. And Op is the mama. And I think Sierra is about 34, 35 years old. So I think why she don't want people to know her birthday and shit like that. She want people to think that she's still in her 20s. Even though she's in her 30s, it's still not an older lady. But she want people to think that she's in her 20s, not her 30s. So, again, y'all, like I said, I'm going down memory lane of some of the, you can't say happy times they was together because they done had a lot of um fucked up times. But, you know, Shell seen it happy. Queen Ox seen it happy. Even though she's suffering with a lot of demons and some insecurities and some mental health that she needs to fix within herself. But look how Shell look. Look how they both look. You know, that's that embrace hug. She was gripping her. They was happy. You know, I don't know. We didn't turn left, but look how that's art. That's an artistic. That's a one in a lifetime picture. And here go another. Like I said, I'm going down memory lane, y'all. Of how did we get to that point? When Shell came up there looking the way she was looking, bruised and and hurting, because she endured a lot of physical abuse within two weeks, they probably was, um, she was sleep deprived, she was hungry, and she was just they were just tormenting that girl for two weeks, and I it hurts me a lot to see someone go through that and they can't get help see real friendship Danny came in uh, she, but she, um, I allowed her to come in so I don't feel sorry for none of these bitches hold on when I say none of these bitches I don't feel sorry for this young man, girl, whatever the fuck she get, or shim get, whatever the fuck shim get, is the fuck shim get, because for the fact that who gives a fuck if Shell, that's her house, queen up. Made that available for Shell to have her house. She was there years before you was. You just came, yo handicap, methadone, having ass into the fold. And you was jealous of the friendship and the relationship that Shell and Op had. So you came in to divide and destroy. But look how the devil played in your face, bitch. Because now what? You can't even afford a motherfucking goddamn lawyer, ho. All that begging and all that shit that y'all be doing for the gram. Queen I was playing your ass too, bitch. Because you could have been doing the same thing she was doing. Getting on your shit and begging for money. Begging for the money at the last minute. What the fuck they gonna do, bitch? Begging for the at the last minute for what? Ten dollars on your private page to, to drop some receipts. What they gonna do? Put some money in your commissary? Because you still got a, a, a fucking public defender, girl. So, Queen, I was playing your ass the whole fucking time. All that money that she was getting, she was dropping it off to the lawyer. She got you out of her suffering and, and, and looking stupid. But that's still, I want to be your man. 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 Yes, I do, baby. Yeah, that's daddy dumb ass. She wants to be Queen Off Man. And just like the bitch she is, she got played like a $2 hoe. 
yeah, send her back to the streets. That you go. Because, girl, she played you like a hoe. Stupid ass, girl. Yeah, she played you. Hmm, don't you get it? I... So, Queen Ot was going to give Shell some parting words. And she did exactly... Shell did exactly what Queen Op told her to motherfucking do, even if she had to suffer what she said that came out of her mouth. So I wish Shell the best of luck in life, and we gonna continue standing up for you. We gonna be continue standing behind, beside whatever you need us to do. We got you because you know, even though that the things happened over the years, and you know people. Um, tune in and see the fuck shit. It still wasn't right. Some people, people, you know, I'm not gonna lie. I laughed at some of the stuff that was going on, you know, but I didn't watch them from the beginning. So, you know, when we seen the shit come in with Danny, it, it, it took too far. It, it was taken too far. Because, you know, we've we seen um, Shell, you know, hit. I mean, we've seen Danny. I mean, this bitch, bitch, shut, shut the fuck up. we seen Op hit Shell over the years. And it was fucked up. It was. So, then you got Danny coming into the fold. And things got out of hand. I don't know when it got turned left. Because it's like the first time that Queen Op been pregnant with a baby. And Shell was around. You know, you gotta fuck dicks. But not always. You know, you get that shit that goes into you. But Queen Op was fucking. That's how she got pregnant. And so now she wanna be her family with Danny. But Danny, she said that you her family. Then Queen Al said, This is my family. This this is my family. I gotta look out for me and my family because money is tight right now. So money was tight. But Queen Op didn't look out for you, Danny. That's what she said when um when Shell came back and she was all bruised and shit and she wanted people to want Shell to um explain what happened and she was like, you know, money is tight right now. You know, um we gotta ration out portions. She was talking about the fucking steak and food that y'all fucking ate and shit like that. But she said money is tight. So Danny, you didn't take heed to that? When she said money is tight, she gotta look out for family. When she was talking about family, she was talking about herself. Me, myself and I at the end is what I found out. Yeah, bitch. She was talking about me, myself, and I. She wasn't talking about you, bitch. She was talking about her. That's all she look out for her is her. She don't give a fuck about nobody else but her. Bitch, you thought you were special because you were eating her cat in her ass? Bitch, please. That bitch is a nasty hook rat. She spread it open for everybody. You ain't special, girl. Shit, she just got her a uh, real thug. I mean, not nah, thug, because you ain't thug. Nah, I can't put that title on you, bitch. You, not no, you ain't nobody thug. She just found her a, a fake stud. I was trying to say stud instead of thug. Yeah, she, was trying, she found her a fake stud. And you know, stud bitches, they eat pussy. So, shit. She can get her pussy ate all the time. Shit, and you was there to eat it. I know you. That's know your stomach be hurting. Shit, eating all them STDs and them yeah yeast infection and and S and M U E I S and shit like that, girl. Mm mm mm. Making my stomach hurt for even thinking about it. Child, but you like it. I don't love it. So, y'all again, what do y'all think? What's gonna happen? Is they going to get probation? Is they going to go to jail? Are they going to go to a rehab facility? Or they just going to... They ain't going to... I, 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 I don't know. I don't know. I am nervous because, like I said, none of these charges are felony charges. They put it off like twice already. 
I, I don't know. I don't know nobody that's close to this um case that I can reach out to to ask them that's been go like going to the courthouse or, you know, getting a paperwork. I don't know. I'm scared because, you know, this little monster, she do have a lot of influence, you know. My bad. I'm sorry. You know, my phone was trying to turn off on me. It was trying to embarrass me. You know, my phone do that a lot to me sometimes. It like to embarrass me and shit like that. See, the girl trying to shut me up. She want me to be quiet. But we can't be quiet, because huh? you did it. So then, y'all, um, I thank y'all for coming over here and viewing this. I was trying to give y'all some, you know, go down memory lane of some of the happy times, you know, that um, Op and Show had together before um, Danny brought her, um, her ass into the fold. And... I don't wish none of these bitches the best of luck, but Shell. Shell's the only person that I wish best for. Even up having this child, I still don't wish her the best. Not because of that baby, because she did what she did, even though. Her and Shell been friends for all them years. You let this bitch come here and y'all probably both manipulate each other. But the devil set both y'all bitches up. And I hope y'all go to fucking jail. For at least two years. For at least two years. Maybe a year and a half. Maybe not. Six months ain't gonna do you no good. Six months ain't gonna do her no good. A year. A whole fucking year, and the bitch can't get off for no good behavior. Fuck that shit, cause you know she gonna be in her, you know, get being. She gonna go to jail being a hoe. Yes, she is. She gonna be in her pimping bitches for um cigarettes and for packs of noodles and for sauces and making her spread and shit like that. That's what the bitch gonna go to jail and she gonna be having mother them dykes and them dykes in there gonna be fighting over her. So that's why I said she ain't gonna learn shit. She gotta go to jail for more than a year. Cause she gonna have them bitches in her fighting over her ass. I'm telling you she gonna jail. Mark my word that bitch gonna be having bitches in her fighting over her ass. So Y'all, let me know. Let me know. Just let me know what y'all think about this. What do y'all want happen to her? Because, you know, we can give our opinions all we want. What y'all? What do y'all want to happen to her? How y'all think tomorrow gonna go? And, um, I don't know, y'all. I'm scared. But again, so... <laughs> Queen Op gonna give Shell a pardon gift, and she did exactly what she told her to do, and so that's what her ass gets. So let's let's do it again. Uh, uh, you heard what she said? Call the fucking police, press charges, cause you deserve that for her putting her fucking hands on you. That's exactly what Shell motherfucking did, bitch. And thank you for telling her what the Zack the motherfucking do, bitch. And we appreciate all that shit. So it's a thing called life, y'all. Sometimes it's good and sometimes it's motherfucking bad. But keep your faith in God. He will see you through. He is all understanding. God love you. I love you. And I hope you love yourself even more, baby. Keep it in mind. It will get greater later. Because I said again. It's a thing called life. Hopefully, we can get through this fucking matrix together. Take it one day at a time, because life is hard. It depends on how you choose to live it. Some live it good, some live it bad. But live your life for you, not no one else. And I am Queen Red. Thank y'all for tuning in to House Queens TV. Support the channel by liking it, subscribing. You could support it financially if you want to do so. Do so. Who the fuck is do so? Dim sum? Dim sum, dim sum. Thank you. Come again. Come again. Come in. <laughs> Shit, y'all. I'm just talking. Brrr. Shit. I'm trying to watch this and this and that. And then I'm trying to give y'all this, this upload. Oh, Shit. So, y'all. Again, y'all can support the channel financially if you want to do so. Um, super thanks 
soup sticker, chat, all that shit. You know, I really appreciate it, y'all, so much. I really do. If you decide to do it financially, but other than that, y'all can, you know, just like the video. Subscribe to the channel. Shit, it is what it is, baby. It is what it is, baby. I mean, <laughs> shit. Tenfold. It's, it is what it is. I'm still gonna eat. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much.